in 2006, I was the commander of the Marine Forces uh, in Anbar province in Iraq. The Department of Defense has embraced alternative energy systems to enhance operations. Today at forward operating bases, military forces are using solar and wind to generate electricity and microgrids to improve energy efficiency while lowering logistics demands. We'd seen a significant spike in the attacks, uh, the, the improvised explosive devices uh, were changing by the day, their sophistication, their complexity, uh, and oftentimes the targets of those IED attacks would be the convoys that were moving liquids, water and diesel fuel to the, uh, the, the many forward operating bases and combat outposts that we had established all over western Iraq. And so in order to enable those forces to operate uh, and they required that diesel, that diesel fuel. Uh, to reduce our exposure, we had to find a way to get those convoys off the road or be less dependent. The average soldier in World War II required one gallon of gasoline per day to fuel the operations of the Army in Europe. Uh, fast forward to where we were in 2008, 9, and 10, it was now 22 gallons per soldier per day and so while we have, without question, the best military in the world, the most capable military in the world, more than ever it is dependent upon electricity, energy, which is traditionally provided by the generators that are fueled by the diesel fuel to recharge the cameras, recharge the, uh, the batteries, to recharge, to run the Ford operating bases, to run the combat op outposts, to run the tools, the refrigeration, the air conditioning, that a force in the Middle East is going to need. So we are more, uh, more dependent on energy through legacy energy forms like diesel, and we, we need to find a way to get away from that. In, in the case of the Marine Corps, our, our experimental forward operating bases are, are, are now using uh, wind solar applications to reduce the amount of generator requirements. We're looking at smart grids, smarter generation use to, uh, to shift that uh, the peak, the load requirements uh, when they're not being required at one point. So we're doing a lot of things that are really smart. But then when we look back at our, our bases in the continental United States, the shift to solar, to natural gas, uh, uh, to wind are, are all variously being applied throughout the country at this point.